You can see them from miles away, identifying nearly every town, tall towers that pressurize water and stand as a beacon for city pride. But many of them now stand empty. News 9's Bobby Miller travels a state to learn why and what towns are dreaming up to give them new life. The water tower has long been a symbol of a city. High above nearly every town, the tanks have always been much more than water storage. <laughs> Just like any town, the water towers is one of the first things you're going to see. Well, I didn't give you a specific address, but you found it. They certainly do an important job. Reliable systems that give residents, businesses, and firefighters adequate high-pressure H2O. A municipality must. It's my job to make sure everything stays up and running. And if it isn't, then I don't look good. <laughs> Mike Cockrell, the city of Ripley's utility department. You need a commentary? He checks water meters. Fix to read this meter. For all 350 of their residents. Put the meter's down there at the bottom. And happily so. I'd rather be out doing this kind of work as opposed to being stuck somewhere. Two water wells pump the town's water. There are also two towers, but one of them is empty, out of commission after someone shot holes through it. Ripley simply can't foot the repair bill. Fixing it, put it back in use would be nice. Again, $700,000. For little town, it's kind of hard to keep up with it all. Head south to a little bit bigger town, Blanchard, and you'll find a similar story. That's next on our list, to completely refurbish that, go in and, and clean it out, uh, air, sandblast it, re-epoxy it, set it up so it could go back in service. The main problem right now is Blanchard has grown so much that we need more water. Mayor Michael Scalf says the price tag to give their nearly 100-year-old original tower a new life is one and a half million or more. Erected in 1926, it's on a local preservation list and one of four in town. Three are reserve tanks for city water, but even with 30 wells to pull from, it wasn't enough. Looking at it, you can tell that it's uh, it's a little bit uh, weather-worn right now because it hasn't been used since not about 97 when they uh, went live with the water line from Oklahoma City. Many towns aren't using their water towers anymore because they tapped into water supplied by Oklahoma City, one of those sources being Lake Hefner. In fact, OKC Utilities now supplies 100 million gallons of water every day to 17 different communities. The wettest month on record. In 2015, record-breaking flooding in Oklahoma washed out water pipes. Blanchard and other towns struggled with long-term low pressure, among other things. They know weather disturbances will happen again. That's why they want to rely on their own storage, like neighbor Norman. OU has started rehab, and they got three towers on their property. The one right in the middle of the campus was rehabbed about four years ago, and then this one was rehabbed here this spring. So yeah, an old tower, but it, basically what it says is no matter how old they are, if they've kind of been kept up, you know, 100, over 100 years old, as long as you continue to maintain them. Norman sustains six robust systems, supplying six million gallons of drinkable water to 130,000 residents. Older towers in town have resigned from such jobs, like this one near campus. Now it stores brown water used to maintain a football field, as in Owen Field, home of the OU Sooners. Championship softball soil? Yep, it keeps the grass green there, too. Anyone around these parts would agree. Those are still fine jobs for a water tower. Cider estimates about 25% of towers are now empty in Oklahoma. Their niche of structural engineers have worked with countless cities to give them new life. Salina, Texas, not only had theirs repainted, but added color-changing lights to the catwalk. Home of Pistol Pete in Perkins underwent a facelift to stay in use, but Okima's hot and cold icons were dismantled due to lack of funding to restore the aging structures, and several now serve as cell phone towers. You can see the antennas on it now, up there on the, hanging off the catwalk. Okay, all that came off and were put on temporary towers by AT&T. Once again, you know these things end up du dual function, but you know, let's face it, if it all comes down to it. We can live without our cell phones. 
but we can't live without this water. So whether you're rearing a championship softball this. team, the Oklahoma Sooners are national champions. Or a tiny spot on the map, below these giants are the hearts of neighborhoods who love them. They provide the character of the old town feel, you know, and, and something that people can relate to. Bobby Miller, Oklahoma's own News 9. And that century-old water tower you just saw in Blanchard will soon be home to one of News 9's city cameras. And Bobby tells us it will provide a good view of Blanchard's Veterans Day parade come November. It sure will. And the water tower in Durant's now being tested as a radar site that News 9 can gather weather data from.